morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I just wanted to share with you as usual the results of the extreme trader premium forex signals group and we managed to end this week with 419 pips of profit actually I just wanted to share with you something here that the profits are really huge compared to the losses um, we are having profits of 60 pips here for example 60 pips 60 pips 30 pips against the losses which is really tiny and small which is like 15 pips and 5 pips however that's not the case every day uh, 11th March was really bad and that is not a really our fault uh, 11th March was crazily full of news and it has really it was really bad day and very tough day to trade Forex because the market was moving is very high uh, volatility that day and most of these signals were going in profit then suddenly went in loss uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken especially the euro and ZD the rest of the signals are really doing very well we can see that we had ended 12th March and 10th March in very big profits and on 9th March we had the pound GPY hitting 140 pips of profit uh, hitting take profit level 3 against 120 pips of loss and 40 for 45 pips of loss so the losses are really small compared to the profit and that is what we are doing here because when you are seeing that signal going in loss we are sending the notifications to the member to close it as soon as possible so I think this week actually is gonna be good week uh, we are seeing a lot of corrections in the market and I believe it is gonna be very good week and uh, very profitable so if you want to join guys please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully my friends we will see you all there soon so let's start the weekly analysis right now on the euro usd as usual and I have already marked our levels just to save your time because what we can see here the euro usd on daily candles uh, has made the, this a huge uh, bullish momentum or the movement and then reverse right on this resistance and uh, now it's falling for the correction now i believe this correction is gonna not gonna last for a long time this support level is very strong and i believe that the pair after falling here retesting the broken resistance trend line is gonna actually retest it and then gonna continue the rise so going back to the four hour chart which we can see here again as I said this resistance trend line here and the pair seems like it's gonna fall down we had here a resistance zone actually which we can see here is the resistance zone let me just go back to the daily candles right here we can see this resistance zone and the euro USD has already tried to attempt uh, breaking out of this resistance it failed and I believe this new candle is gonna close like that and then a new uh, the next candle is gonna open as a bearish candle reaching this support level and then from that point it's gonna be a good idea to start buying the euro USD and keep your trade running until it hit this take profit level uh, on 1.11727 that's the top of this previous resistance and actually I, I believe that the pair is gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit this resistance level however uh, let's be more realistic don't keep the trade running for so much long time uh, I mean that should be enough of almost 178 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all right now looking at the pound USD uh, the first thing we can notice on the pound USD is this huge fall here the last week we can notice that the, you know, the pound USD did not stop moving in bearish momentum it was really strong I mean if we come if we check at the uh, the top of this uh, trend to the bottom of it it is almost thousand pips I mean 900 950 pips I mean that's crazily uh, high volatility market therefore we need to be very careful when we are buying or selling the pound USD nowadays however I believe this week the pound USD is gonna continue this bearish momentum there is no f so far no any signal for any re uh, bullish reversal therefore the first thing we can notice here is that the pair on daily candles has made a small reversal here on this previous support and actually to be honest with you this was 
my signal for the pound USD already it has been wasted I was planning to start selling the pound USD right on this previous resistance we can see the the top of the peak here and this resistance kept its position as a resistance and the pair has already fallen 400 pips uh, since this entry so I'm just hoping now for another attempt of this resistance um, if we look at the one hour chart we can see that we already have one attempt of this resistance now I'm really hoping for the next attempt here that is gonna be the perfect perfect time to start selling the pound USD again so uh, the pound USD should be good for the short right on this level just wait because I think I think that we are having here a strong support level and I believe the pair eventually gonna reverse finally uh, hitting this resistance level again that is be the best level gonna be the best level to start shorting the pound USD again and we can aim all the way uh, this tech profit level for almost I think 300 pips of profit if I'm not mistaken yeah 387 pips of profit uh, I believe that the pound the, the pound USD is gonna fall down all the way until it hit this previous support level right here uh, checking the weekly candles is actually giving the signal here because this bearish momentum is so strong as I said and I believe the pair is gonna continue moving all the way down until it had this previous support so it's really more clear on the weekly candles again just please wait for the right moment to start shorting the pair so for the AUD USD we can notice this is strong very strong bearish momentum the pair did not stop moving for a long time I mean since last year December last year until today the pair has moving for almost 920 pips uh, in a bearish momentum however going to the weekly candle we can expect from the AUD USD to actually reverse finally on the bottom of this support level right here therefore the right thing to do on the AUD USD is if you want to sell it you can go ahead and sell the AUD USD right now and wait for the pair to actually hit this previous uh, support level right here going to the I cannot even go more to the left that is the maximum however uh, what we can see here as I said is the first attempt of the support level on the AUDUSD right here and I think that the AUDUSD is gonna make a reversal on a support number two well not a reversal I mean just like a bouncing remember we are talking about weekly candles so so one uh, reversal can means a lot of daily candles um, which can deliver a lot of, pro of profits therefore uh, AUD USD is moving in very strong bearish momentum and I really don't think it's gonna be a good idea to buy the pair at all we just need to wait some time to start selling it again we just want to have the right moment to start selling again the AUD USD now I believe our best chance to sell the pair again um, is wait for this bounce to finish we are seeing here already a resistance number one because this was the previous support level and the pair seems like it's reverse uh, making a reversal right here and if I'm not mistaken it's gonna continue the reversal momentum or the reversal pattern and then it's gonna be here the best time to start shorting the AUD USD again so this is our sell point for the AUD USD 0.62189 and as I mentioned on the weekly candles we can keep the trade running until it hit this take profit level of take profit level on 0 0.60120 like that so we are aiming approximately 200 and 212 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all again please be careful when you are trading this pair it's moving in very much high volatility and we have to be careful when we are trading it let's go to the USD card directly I mean I just wanted to, to save your time and analyze the charts right away however I believe uh, most of you are enjoying the analyzing together so let's now look at the USD CAD the USD CAD is not is uh, not reversing as I expected from this resistance so therefore we need to go along with the pair and just see what's happening right here so 
what we can see here is that the pair has made this reversal let me just get rid of this so what we can see here that that we had here a resistance level and this resistance has kept its position as a resistance after this bearish reversal or the bearish bearish fall here therefore since this resistance has kept its position i believe that we can start finally shorting the usd cad however that's not gonna happen right away because we can see that the pair has made a reversal here let me just show you we are having here a previous resistance and the pair seems like it has reached this previous resistance and right now it reversed look at that look at this bounce here this bounce i'm talking the bounce i'm talking about here is uh, the reversal of the previous resistance however the resistance level is really very strong actually going to the weekly candles again we can see that this resistance here cannot be ignored it's so strong and again i'm saying to you this is weekly candles so let's go back to the four hour chart and the first thing we can notice here is the reversal the pair has tried to make a fall below this support level it has failed however we already have one attempt only to break out this resistance level it's only one resistance one attempt not this one here therefore what i can expect from the usd cad is to continue the rise a little bit and then from that point it's gonna be good again for the short um let me just give you actually i just i'm just thinking actually where we can start shorting the usd cad again because one small movement one small rank signal it can cost a lot of pips therefore just to be safe i'm just gonna select the top of this exactly like that yes that is gonna be perfect level to start shorting the usd cad we can start sell on the level 1.39466 and if I'm not mistaken, the USD CAD, go, let's go to, to the daily candles, is going to fall all the way down until it hit this previous resistance right here. This resistance right here. So this is going to be our take profit level. Let me just write it for you. Take profit on 1.36647. Because there is still a chance somehow that the pair after reaching this previous resistance and retesting the level it might actually continue rising more up however again this is daily candles so that's not gonna happen until the next week if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken so therefore we can expect from the pair to fall down again making another attempt because we already have here a support number one and the pair seems like it's gonna continue falling to create a support number two then from that point it's gonna be good for the buy now moving to the USD GPY, the first thing we can notice here, this strong momentum, I mean, a uh, strong uh, uh, trend movement, I mean, uh, the pair has moved, I mean, wow, I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised about the USD GPY, it's uh, moving very fast, almost 733 pips of profit, that didn't happen in long time, thanks to the coronavirus. Anyway, um, it's not easy to predict this uh, pair right now however the first thing we can notice as i said is we're already having here uh, two attempts of the resistance we already have attempt number two and attempt number one and again i am on the daily candles therefore the best thing to do is actually start shorting the usd gpy however we just want to be sure where we can start shorting the pair again since we already have two attempts on this resistance meaning we can expect from the next resistance right here for the pair to reverse so this is daily candles as i said let's go to the four hour chart the four hour chart is still not giving me the best entry level uh, to start shorting the pair i need to see it actually more in close so let me just go to the one hour chart and as i can see that we are having here a good resistance level like that like this so we can start shorting the usd gpy right on this level let me just tell you the signal exactly on 108.057 we can start short the usd gpy right here uh, after the rise for almost 53 pips and then keep your trade running all the way until the pair hit the bottom of this support which was also a previous resistance let me get rid of this one 
However, I believe the pair is gonna continue falling below the support but since we cannot really be sure of what will gonna happen that's why I'm sending the signal to start selling only on this level and keep your trade running only for the nearest support which is right here that is almost 212 pips of profit hopefully we will get them all so this is your take profits on 105.918 now, of course, the USDJPY is very subjective to the coronavirus news. Please stay updated always. Be careful because the pair is really moving crazily right now. Um, to be honest with you guys, it's really not safe at all to start trading the USDJPY nowadays. Uh, we just have to be careful. That's why I'm just hoping that my entry level is accurate as much as possible. Um, let me just get, tell you the reason why did I give the signal right here. The problem is actually this gap we are having, which is really uh, making it difficult to be sure. Because what we are seeing here is this, is this resistance level. And from what I'm seeing here is we had the reversal on the resistance. Then the market went down here. There is a gap. So I'm assuming that there is... Uh, I'm gonna treat this gap just as a bearish breakout candle and assuming that the pair after falling down to hit this previous uh, resistance is gonna fall and this resistance level is gonna keep its level as a resistance however because of the gap I'm also not sure if there is here or I can do the same to the uh, to this resistance as well look at this resistance we're having here so just want i'm just uh, trying to give you the safest entry possible because the difference between this entry and my entry is almost 40 pips and that's gonna be uh, a lot of pips i'm risking for the members to join or to to enter therefore just to be safe and just to be sure that we are having the the absolutely best entry level for the sell is to rise the entry point level to this resistance here so hopefully it's gonna be accurate and gonna be profitable to everyone let's check right now the usd chf so what we are seeing from the usd chf is the reversal on the support level on daily candle uh, sorry on the four hour chart we can see that we already had here a support number two and the pair has already made the reversal uh, sorry, we had the reverse on support number one and the pair has already made the next attempt on support number two And I believe that the pair is gonna continue the rise for some time One second. I'm just trying to close this thing. Okay Meaning Let's just look at the pair. We can start buying the pair actually right away The USD CHF is good for the buy right now we can see that the pair right now on the one hour chart is reversing on this previous support however i believe it's gonna make a small bounce right here to hit this previous resistance level and the support level right here and then it's gonna be good for the buy now of course we don't want to keep the buy going for a long time because on daily candles what we can notice here is that the pair is actually having a resistance level right here which was also a previous support level so the UCCHF is somehow tricky because as I said the pair is rising for almost 90 pips and then from that point is going to be good for the short again. So what we can do now with the, for, with the UCCHF is actually buy the pair right away. You can buy it right now. Buy now. Because this is actually the best level to start buying the USDCHF. I mean we are having already late entry. And you can keep your trade running for almost 91 pips of profit, uh, of hopefully in profit. Keep your trade running until it hit this previous resistance on 0 0.955, sorry, 95981. Then from that point, we are expecting to actually start shorting the USD CHF uh, because the bearish, momentum, the bearish momentum is still strong. And we are just hoping for the pair to, compl to complete the form of the reversal pattern. Therefore, this is going to be the safest point to close your trade and then maybe we can start shorting the USDCHF from that point. Let's right now check the gold. Now the gold has actually made this strong bearish momentum and I believe this is going to be here, right here, the best level to start shorting the gold again. Um, 
let me just tell you something this is on the four hour chart let's go to the one hour chart by the way guys if you noticed I'm just uh, making the analysis uh, shorter this week because I'm actually analyzing before recording usually I'm analyzing while I'm recording and I think it's not really uh, the best or the ideal thing because the video is being really so long and I don't think everyone really want that therefore I'm just checking on the one hour chart look at this entry level uh, on this resistance attempts we are having we are having here very good resistance level and right here and right here I mean that is perfect I'm very satisfied with this entry which was also a very strong support in the past as you can see here therefore um, what we can notice on the pound oh, sorry on the gold is it has made the reversal on this previous uh, resistance level and this was the previous support so the pair is actually making a small attempt of uh, another pullback so we are having here the resistance number one therefore this is gonna be really the best level to start shorting the the gold I think I'm gonna um, enter this trade myself actually and we can do some good live trading uh, video right on this uh, resistance level where I can share with you the strategy of scalping the gold on one minute candles so the gold is good for the short on 1560.86 and just to be safe we can keep the trade running until it hit this previous support level and we are talking about 400 or actually 500 pips of profit hopefully we'll get them all so the tech profit is gonna be 1509.80 nine not to mention of course that we can close the thread with the loss immediately uh, if we see any bullish breakout candle above this re resistance level and you must wait and see the candle actually closes uh, as a, a bullish breakout candle so to be honest with you guys this week <clears throat> this week is giving us a lot of opportunities however Monday morning I admit that it's not really that easy to see these opportunities but I believe that there will be a lot of corrections and the market I think is gonna be moving uh, slower than the last week the last week was really crazy it was tough week however this week I don't think it's gonna be the same because we don't have that much news coming also um, how can I say that the shock the shocking or the impact of coronavirus news is reducing it's not like the last week the last week was having a lot of uh, news about the coronavirus however this week is uh, having um, I, I'm to be honest with you I'm not really sure how to say that uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is the shock of the coronavirus is not as the same of the last week however um, I really hope it's gonna be a profitable week and very good week for everyone and then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching